I always feel that like when like a celebrity dies, like, and then everybody posts like, oh my God, this guy meant this to me or this to me, this to me, this to me, this to me. And like, right. I get it, you know, but like, it's, it always, it's, it seems to be about yeah. themselves kind mm-hmm. of in a weird way where it's like, this is how much this affected my life. And exactly. this, or like any sort of issue that people like, there's like a bandwagon of everybody jumping on. Like, we got to find Coney. Yeah, I just, I just feel like, look, we're, we're obviously, it, you know, it, how many elections have we had where it literally comes down to basically a tie? You know, yeah. I mean, and it doesn't by a, a couple million votes, you know, but right. it's still like, it's like 49% to 51%. If we, it's too crazy. We're two different countries. Yeah. Like, there's two different sets of ideologies here. So I don't get why we all have to hang out. I don't know. I mean, and, and, and you know, let everybody... We should all, we should be two different countries that are best friends. We're two different countries that are best friends? We should be. We should be two, di- two different countries that are best friends. Fuck you. You know, like, we'll be, we'll be best friends. You know, and, uh, and, 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 and then the quirkiness of each other, because, you know, we'll, uh, you know, the, the, the people on the right could be those, ah, uh, those, those cucks over on the left, but you know, but uh, I, but I, I can say that, but you can't say that about right, them because right. they're my brother. And yeah. then, and then all the uh, <laughs> and all the people on the left could be like, ah, oh, those abortion hating uh, people on the Gun right. Toting. Yeah, but don't you say that about them. I right. can say that about them because I, I would die them. for those gun toting cousin fuckers. Exactly. It's yeah. not being angry at our differences. Let's just like <laughs> let's conspiracy stuff. Do you believe in any conspiracy theories? Um, I know that you do, but. All of them. I heard a great one the other day. Oh wait, Jerry Nadler shit himself. It's on C-SPAN. We'll get, we'll cover that. But I want to hear what you. I, I want to hear your great one. I heard a great one yesterday. So I heard that. Okay, so Jeffrey Epstein. Sure. We all know Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Uh, rest, uh, rest in peace. Um, he. <laughs> uh, rest in peace. Um, he. <laughs> uh, he <laughs> Uh, he, like, he was also obsessed with, um, like, uh, bioengineering. Oh, you yeah. Know? Like, like nanotechnology so, and shit, right? Well, you know, biotechnology. And so he had all of these uh, scientists on, that he would donate money to their charities and he would have them work on things and stuff. And people were saying that he was trying to, like, create... Like, uh, he wanted to basically be able to alter, like, genes and make different kinds of life and stuff like that. But what I heard, and this is completely unsubstantiated, but I, I, I heard it and I thought it was fascinating, was that he also had these same guys because they were disease specialists and everything like that. He had them design a novel purpose. that was his kill switch. Basically, like that was his trump card, which is like, I don't go to jail or I release this shit. And like, it's like one of these things where if I don't keep entering in a thing every 30 days, I die. Then when they killed him in like October, November, his kill switch went off. And that's when the disease got introduced into the world and like slowly started to spread in the last quarter of last year until it became what we do today. For more, did you know that it's illegal to say I want to kill the president of the United States of America? It's illegal. It's a federal offense. It's one of the only sentences that you're not allowed to say. And it was okay for me to say it right then because I was just telling you that it's illegal to say, I want to kill the president of the United States of America. I'm not actually saying it. I'm just letting you know that it's illegal to say that. It's kind of like a public service. I'm letting you know so that you don't accidentally go out and say something like that. Um, but what's interesting is that it's it's very illegal to say, I really, really think someone out there should kill the president of the United States of America. That's illegal, extremely illegal, very, very illegal, but not illegal to say with a mortar launcher. Because that's its own sentence. It's an incomplete sentence, but it may have nothing to do with the sentence before that. So that's perfectly fine, perfectly legal. I also found out that it's incredibly illegal, extremely illegal to go on television and say something like the best place to fire a mortar launcher at the White House would be from the roof of the Rockefeller Hewitt building because of minimal security and you'd have a clear line of sight to the president's bedroom. Insanely illegal. 
ridiculously, recklessly, insanely illegal, yet even more illegal to show an illustrated diagram. Insanely illegal, ridiculously, horribly felonious, because they will come to your house in the middle of the night and they will lock you up extremely against the law. Uh, one thing that is technically legal to say is that we have a group that meets Fridays at midnight under the Brooklyn Bridge and the password is Six Emperor Tyrannus. A founder of the Whitest Kids You Know sketch comedy group has died following an accident on Friday night, according to Deadline. He was 41 years old. slipped and fell off your roof and <laughs> broke your neck. That would be a sad funeral. This stupid fuck. Slipped and fell off your roof and broke your neck. That would be a sad funeral. This stupid fuck. 30 miles from town. And it was also, there's a, air, there's a, a top secret government base called Peter's Mountain that's out there. Um, which uh, is where they basically test... Um, Oh, fuck it. It's where they test, like, you know, uh, planes and stuff like that. So there's constant UFO sightings out there because it's where, like, the military tests shit, uh -huh. you know. And and the rumor is that there's it's a mountain that basically opens up and we have a lot of missiles in it, long-range missiles in it. Like, you know, most of Virginia is some sort of secret government thing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I live in a very scary area. Hi, how's everyone doing? High five. Oh, there we go. I work in television uh, on a comedy show. Uh, does anybody here want to work in television when they grow up? Okay, okay. Who likes comedy? Who's the Who's the class clown? Joey. Joey? Joey's the class clown? I saw Sarah Reese's, and this is what her face looks like. <laughs> okay, all right. I want to be an astronaut. Oh, you want to be an astronaut? Well, that's great. You can be an astronaut. All you have to do is study flying or science, and maybe someday you could be the first astronaut to walk on the moon. No! There already was an astronaut who first walked on the moon. Well, no, not really. Um, that wasn't real. Uh, see, there was this thing called the Cold War, and in order to beat the Russians, we kind of faked that. That never happened. See how there's no windows on the side? And see underneath where there's like a pod thing? What's that, right? Take a look at this wreckage. See how there's no plane parts on the ground there? What does that look like? A missile. You see, President Bush was in a secret society at Yale called the Skull and Bones. His dad was too, and they all worship Satan. President Bush worships Satan? In my personal opinion, absolutely. Take me to a resort and let rich businessmen 
Hunt me down for sport. Hold up. I'm just calling in another song to check on what y'all talking about. Hello. Don't think of me as a record exec, but a father figure and pal. Help this me. kid's a real prankster. This is one of his practical jokes. Thank you for your concern, but there's nothing to see here, folks. That's just exhaustion talking. Poor little guy's tuckered out. I'll take him back to the tour bus and we'll get him straightened out. Don't let him put me in the box. There is no box. I don't even know what that means. Where now we sleep? gotta run, but for your trouble, here's some front row seats. You gotta seat. help me. My parents sold me to a producer. We gotta go to the industry. We're oh, sorry, God, he's very tired. Let's take some road. action. This he, didn't he, work he, he, out for Michael Jackson. Up was that um, there's and I found like a whole community of people who believe this um, online. It's that people there's a bunch of people out there who actually think that Lady Gaga is John Bonet Ramsey. I've heard that too. Yeah, and so they're like she got. Uh, I guess they would have been the same age or something like that, and they think that like a uh, secret, the, the secret society, like uh, you know, they, they took her or something to turn her into like a, a pop star. And so it's people like comparing like the size of her nose. To the size of her eyebrows to like John Bonet's and stuff like that. It's it's a really they, weird. They really hole. don't look anything alike. Like if you look at a photo of Lady Gaga, someone, someone says it's true. I have the documents in the chat. Oh uh, well, all right. For details of how how Trevor died, I guess Sam will get into it. But, yeah. Um, you want to go first? Uh, I mean, it, it's tough. Uh, we've been talking about this. Uh, you know, it's kind of like. We all know the name of the stream and everything like that, but uh, Trevor had been... I mean, it was a mission of his life. Yeah. That, right. And he, yes. He was attempting to suck his own dick. Yeah. And he'd been... You told me this. I didn't know about this, but... I mean, would, well, he was going to go to Mexico to have a rib removed, but I guess he couldn't wait. And, and uh, the good news is the coroner said that he, the cause of death was actually that he asphyxiated on his own jizz. So... Right. He, he pulled it off, you know, so he, he got did it. it. He, he got there. Got and there was a moment where uh, they said he died with a smile on his face. So, you know, uh, <laughs> and technically it was Saturday morning, so it was a self-suck Saturday. So, so <laughs> Someone in chat said he came and went. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, who said that?